Uh, I'm Tom. I'm on the uh, Native Databases team with Abby. Um, I'm quite new, uh, so this is the first time I've demoed anything uh, with this laptop, so apologies for that. Um, to come back to the point earlier about subscriptions, uh, the the feature or the, the fix that I want to demo is, is kind of a, a little performance win, maybe to help some, some more benchmarking in the future. Um, so with a query, generally, you, you write some GraphQL, we convert that to a query, we send it to the database, we get a result, and that's, that's the end of it. When it comes to subscriptions, um, obviously what we want to do is, is poll that database. So we are, we are going to send some uh, information to the database over and over again to get responses back. Um, and that can be quite inefficient if the query is quite large. So one of the uh, one of the things we tend to do is say we have this little one to use everyone's favorite example of articles and authors. Um, if we analyze it, we find that my my variable, the author ID, is uh, listed as synthetic, which is to say that we prepare the query and then we can just substitute in this variable. So what that means is when we poll the database over and over again, instead of sending an entire query, we just send that variable and the, the traffic over the wire gets a lot less. So less load on the database, hopefully faster performance, everyone wins. Unfortunately, we did have a problem where if say you were sending an array, so an array of authors rather than a single one, um, at the time uh, or, or in the current release, uh, we, couldn't, we couldn't prepare that argument. So if the, uh, if the analyzer loads, um, what we did was we just inlined that array. Now, what that means is if you want to send some more data over the wire, you have to send the entire query again. And if that array is very big or the query is very big, that creates a lot of overhead. So um, tempting fate yet again, if I, uh, if I take this and do, do some really quick live coding um, and say I have, let's say, two authors like that, um, everything's fine. And if we look now, what we see is that is now an integer array that we are preparing. So in terms of what you actually see, uh, nothing has changed. But behind the scenes, the information we are sending over the wire has decreased. And hopefully you should see some performance wins, especially in the cases where you're batching a lot of subscriptions together. And you're saying, you know, in this case, select any of these 200 authors. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, a nice little performance win um, and all, all nicely behind the scenes. Thanks very much.